Thomas A. Filippo. I graduated from Westchester in 1969. I'm Nancy Frickett, uh, graduated in 1972. My name is Dr. John Marr. Uh, I am currently a retired faculty from Westchester University after teaching here for almost 20 years at night in the Department of Health. Well, my name is Bob Wyrag. I'm from a small town in Pennsylvania. I actually grew up in Stowe, Pennsylvania, which is next to Pottstown, and went to Westchester University for my undergrad education, which was the start of a wonderful career experience. I gained a lot of direction while I was here at Westchester. I came in as a health and physical education major, and I took the required courses, which we all took. There was very few electives, if any. Uh, I took athletic training, and there I met Phil Donnelly, who was the head athletic trainer at the time. I came to Chester County uh, basically as a New Yorker, and, uh, and it, uh, in most places it takes a while to be accepted uh, for that. You know, New Yorkers have a certain reputation and I, I guess I kind of uh, passed the grade. Because South Campus was opening up, he was then beginning to take on female student trainers for the first time, and I was in the first group. You know, Westchester was always uh, a winner. And even to this day, it's a winner. And the reason is the people. I was an undergrad student um, in health and physical education and um, graduated with a bachelor's degree in health education and that kind of launched my career. I really wanted to be a classroom teacher and um, Westchester provided a wonderful foundation for me to move forward. First of all, I think the, the, the very first impression is the campus. The campus uh, is beautiful. Uh, some of the older buildings are magnificent. Um, the uh, changes here, the new buildings and so on, are very impressive. Uh, I think it's maybe changing the character a little bit of the university and the, and the town itself, but hopefully they'll be able to keep the mentality and the closeness of the faculty and students and things like that. That freshman year, the first couple of weeks, we got, we got this. These were our beanie caps. Came in as a health and physical education major and left going into physical therapy, going into the Army, and becoming an officer and a soldier, which I never had any anticipation of doing when I came here at first. That it was um, kind of, I guess you could say, uh, a form of harassment that the fraternities uh, kind of experience when you bring, they bring new members into the Brotherhood. But we had to wear this for at least a week. It might have been two weeks. Any upperclassmen who encountered a, that we encountered on campus could ask us to do anything that they wanted us to do. Fondest memories, uh, m my friends, and all the friends I met here. Uh, some great relationships with the professors. Even after I graduated, such as I did with uh, Dr. Sturzbecker. Uh, you know, it's people. It comes down to people. And Westchester has always had great people, and that's why Westchester is as great as it is. Well, I'll tell you, I did wear my beanie. Honestly, I would go out of my way. Instead of going a straight line from point A to point B, you know, I was getting some good exercise that entire week to try to avoid the upperclassmen and, and get trapped. But two years later, I had the opportunity because I was appointed uh, chair and moderator of that freshman orientation assembly and there is a picture that is in that is in the yearbook my my junior year that has me dressed up as uh, as the moderator and I I guess this was an opportunity to kind of get back at them for some of the things that they did to me so this beanie I don't know why I've been carrying it around now for uh, almost 50 years but I, I still have it I did know Dr. Sturzbecker. Um, I knew him uh, briefly while I was a student here. I was one of the unfortunate ones that uh, did not get him as a professor. I need to say that, need to, to mention that that was something that I really had hoped for. Uh, Dr. Sturzbecker was a rock star on campus. I had one experience with him that just had such a powerful impact on me for the rest of my career. He did a guest lecture 
in a class uh, taught by Mr. Lloyd Black, uh, Organization and Administration of Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance. And Dr. Sturzebecker came in and uh, made a presentation about the history of the Olympics. He gave a special lecture on the Olympics, and it was a come as you want or if you want to. It wasn't a class required lecture. So I attended because I heard good things about him. And yes, I was not disappointed. He was unbelievably dynamic. I was on the edge of my seat as every student in that class was. It was the fastest hour, I think, of my four years uh, at Westchester. And I wondered afterwards why he's sitting in the office doing administration. He really needs to be in front of students uh, the teaching. He ha had a very powerful, commanding presence and very captivating. It isn't the college that makes the student or the university, it's the student graduates who make the university or the college, okay? And so the knowledge is there, the teachers are there, the textbooks are there, the technology is there. You make the best of it. I think what I'd like to share with um, students, current students, future students, is to keep yourself open to opportunities. Uh, even though I've always said to others that, well, it's good to have direction, but it's okay to change direction as well. You find a job or, or a career that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. You can do anything you want if you work hard, try hard, and you have a goal that you want to achieve. If you set your mind to it, chances are you're going to be able to accomplish. I have to well, first of all, thank the good Lord for letting me have the health and uh, knowledge and whatever skills to be a, a teacher as well as a, a physician. Uh, my wife and family who had to put up with my long absences at nights and you know, and whatever all else is in addition to my day job. First, I guess I like to uh, thank Dr. Sturzebecker for setting such high standards for so many of us to aspire to over the years and for the officials at Westchester University to recognize him for all of his significant major contributions to the growth and development and recognition of this great university. Well, I'd like to thank Dr. Sturzbecker for his vision of South Campus and his work there, as well as um, the Hall of Fame and all those responsible for the Hall of Fame um, that made this selection possible. Certainly, I would like to, to thank Dr. Sturzbecker. Um, if not for him, you know, none of us would be involved with this great foundation.